Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change the password of a local user account or make it blank so they don't need a password. So to begin, I'm going to show you what accounts we have here. So this one that I'm logged in with is a Microsoft account. This is Todd Sims. So this has a password and a pin. So I'm going to log on with this admin account, which is a local account. So you can see I need a password here. Okay, so now I'm going to log this guy off here. And log back in with Todd here. So to do this, we need to open an administrator command prompt. So we just do a search for CMD here, run as administrator. So if you do a net user command here, you can see all the users. So here's that admin account we just logged in for. Here's the Todd as I have the local administrator enabled. And here's some other default accounts here. So if I do a net user again with the, just the username, we could find out information about it, uh, such as when the account expires, if it does, uh, password expires, password changeable, last login date, and so on. So what we're going to do is a net user, then the username admin, space asterisk. So this is how you change the password. It's kind of weird because you're not really telling it to change the password. You just type this in it. It knows what you're doing. So when you press enter, it's going to say type a new password for the user. So you can either change it to something else, or if you press enter, and then enter again, now it's a blank password. So now watch what happens if we sign in with uh, this local admin again here. Let's click on sign in, and we don't have to put in a password. Just like that. Okay, so let's log this guy out again. All right, so once again, just uh, net user with the username and then space asterisk and then space between all these as well. So this will work just for local accounts. It's not going to work for a Microsoft account. It'll tell you, well, like I'll show you what happens when you try and do that here. Let's say we try to make this blank here. So system's not authorized or the system's not authoritative for the specified account because it's a Microsoft account so it can't do it. So like I said, it's only going to work for local accounts. So once again, net user, username, asterisk, and then you could uh, either change the password or make it blank and for local accounts only. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.